Limo? Oh my god! Chipper cheerleaders for the Saints football team. And bouncing bridesmaids to teammate Chansey. I definitely think it's special that I'm having the pride of New Orleans and New Orleans Saints cheerleaders at my wedding. The Saints stations will give Chansey an MVP-style entrance into her reception. <laughs> Chansey's fiancé, Gene, considers himself a very lucky guy. I used to really half the time watch the game and half the time watch the sensations. I knew she was the one because she's very sweet. She takes care of me. That's all I can really ask for. I'm actually having a candy bar, and the candy is going to be different shades of pink. Mm, those are cute. These look good, too. From the candy bar to the dance floor, Chansey's pulling out all the stops for her 25 grand day. My wedding's going to stand out because I plan on having about 150 guests at my wedding. It's going to be a non-stop party. Large weddings, and they're great for some people, but it's just not who I am. We're having about 35 guests. Amanda is a bride from Alabama. She's invited her friends and family to New Orleans for her destination wedding. New Orleans was the perfect place to have my wedding. It's fun, it's exciting, it's unique, and it's just a really great city. Amanda is a silk floral designer who's using her professional talents to create her own bouquets. I use silk florals because they last forever. They look so close to real flowers. Love these colors. They're very Victorian. I love the feathers, pearls, this beautiful crystal brooch. It's going to go right here. Definitely Victorian look. Amanda's found the perfect setting for her flowers and wedding. We're having it in a Victorian mansion and dollhouse museum. They're just really cool. I just wanted something eccentric and different, and this is my dream wedding. Amanda's fiance, Justin, shares her vision for their 12 grand nuptials. I can't imagine getting married anywhere besides New Orleans. So romantic. My wedding is going to be in the heart of New Orleans. I don't think you can get that authenticity anywhere else. Every wedding you go to is French Quarter. So I wanted something different, but still New Orleans. I am getting married at the oldest plantation in Louisiana with lots of vintage touches. Chantal, a New Orleans native, will wed Jerry, whom she's known since seventh grade. Jerry is a big man. He's 6'3", but he is the kindest person. He's amazing. Chantal also loves the couple's four dogs, so including them in the wedding is a must. Crazy fit. I had outfits made for them. Hopefully they don't do anything too bad. While Chantal can only hope the pups behave, she's confident guests at her $60,000 day will enjoy a southern celebration. We are having a second line. Every New Orleans wedding pretty much has a second line. It's important to me to have these southern traditions because I grew up with that. My wedding is going to bring a lot of traditions from South America, from Peru. Marcella, a transplant from Lima, is bringing South America to South Louisiana. I am very proud of being Peruvian. Marcella will celebrate her marriage to fiancé Joseph with a special Peruvian cocktail. The traditional toast is with a drink called Pisco Sour. Cheers. Salud. I met Marcella at church. It was just kind of, I have to meet her. <laughs> Squeeze it in. Oh. Marcella and Joseph want to share their special day with daughter Isabella. Are you excited for mommy and daddy's wedding? Yeah. yeah I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Marcella's teaching Isabella a traditional dance for her $25,000 day. Do it. Do it. Do it for me. And then go around. My wedding, I'm going to have a traditional dance. My sister Saga wants to do the dance. I can win this competition because in Louisiana, they like to party and eat and drink, and we're going to have all that in our wedding. The competitors dodge raindrops to say hello and dream of winning a sunny honeymoon. All right, good luck, girls. We'll need it. I'll send you a postcard from the beach. <laughs> they'll be giving each wedding an overall experience score out of 10. Later, they'll be ranking the big days either first, second, or third in the remaining categories, venue, dress, and food. The bride with the most points will win a superb honeymoon to a magical destination. a few surprises and some things in store that I think are going to wow my guests and I think everybody's going to, you know, have a good time with it. Professional cheerleader Chansey is the first to win. Her evening I do's kick off at a banquet hall. Thank you. Thank you. How cute. I love the pearls. 
looks so pretty. Chancy is so outgoing and stylish. I expect a really glamorous wedding. Look at the trees. I know. That Everything so like good. sparkles. Oh, look at the chandelier in the front. I love that. I love chandeliers. <laughs> Chancy is fun and energetic. She specifically told me her family loves to dance and she's a cheerleader, so I expect it'll be really spirited. I love like the tenting. That is really pretty. I love the candles. That is beautiful. It's like really romantic. miniature bride that was like really really sweet oh that's so cute oh my goodness <laughs> she's beautiful Chancy looked so happy she had like a huge smile plastered on her face She looks beautiful. I love slim fitting dresses. Show off your body and be sexy and beautiful, and I think that she played that perfectly. I welcome everyone here to this special occasion. Jean, would you please repeat these words if they are the desire of your heart? I, Jean, take thee chancy. I, Jean, take thee chancy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. The heaven to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. Chancy and Jean are so much in love, and I was just so happy to see her just over the moon. Jean and Chancy, I pronounce you husband and wife. I got scared first. My ears were kind of like, oh my God. But it was really neat. Coming up, a mind-boggling dance party. I don't know how to explain it. It's a big, easy battle of the bride, as these four attend each other's weddings to decide whose day is best. The winner will enjoy a charming old world honeymoon at a spa resort. To you, I pledge my faithfulness. Cheerleader bride Chansey has just wed Jean in a nighttime ceremony that ended with a bang. Guests are ushered into the banquet hall for the reception. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. When I walked into the reception, I was in shock because I was expecting light at the color. But it was kind of plain. I love the linens. She really didn't do any centerpieces. Like, I feel like a wedding, you have to have centerpieces, and she didn't have anything like that. But um, as a venue as a whole, I think it's really pretty. Appetizers are passed around, and the buffet is declared open. I'll take um, fettuccine because thank you. Would you like to go Sure. Chancy had a lot served for dinner. Oh, the sambal, a kebab. I got a steak. Thank you. Oh, wow. Holy cow, more food. When we got back to the tables, it was full of food that they had brought out while we were at the buffet. I don't even think that I've ever seen so much food at a wedding. It was just a little bit overwhelming. There's so many different things, I don't even know where to eat. You just have to take a little bite of everything. <laughs> I didn't notice a lot of the other guests getting that same treatment. We're definitely like royalty. The meatballs are good. I really like the gumbo. It's really spicy. I really liked the boiled shrimp, but overall everything was kind of spicy, so it would be hard to eat anything else because I was having like overwhelming spicy in my mouth. I am a fire. Yeah, it's spicy. The food. Sometimes it's better just to have less. Yes. Chansey's dress was fitted, and it was sequined and beaded, which was very beautiful. I thought that she looked absolutely stunning. 
Chancey's dress was not nothing wow. She has a beautiful figure. She couldn't wear something 10 times better than that. Chancey was introduced by the New Orleans Saints station. It looked like they were at the Saints game, you know, with the players who walked through. It was really neat. with them which I thought was insane because she must have been so nervous she's gonna trip over her dress but she did amazing Chancey had a candy bar it was very girly and it seemed very chancy so it was really cute I didn't really know they have so many pink candy. Now I do. That's really cute. That marshmallow is good. I don't know. Chancy had her version of the Chancy and Jean Harlem Shake. It. All I know, there is a, um, there's one person dancing, and then there's some people doing some crazy stuff around them. I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. Everybody's like an animal costume for a wedding. <laughs> like Obama with a naked, you know, suspenders with hair on his chest is a little odd, or like a zebra at one point. So, yeah, it was definitely different. Perfect. I definitely think we brought in all the bells and whistles and everybody let loose and had a great time. Who won't we be? This is a top-notch party. Top-notch. <laughs> Will Chansey be packing her pom-poms for a trip to paradise? The judges' scores for her dress, venue, and food will be revealed later. Now, they're only divulging their numbers for overall experience. I'm giving Chansey's wedding a 7. The outdoor area was absolutely beautiful. I loved the fireworks. However, there was so much food that it was overwhelming. I'm giving Chances wedding 6 out of 10. I enjoyed the sensations and the way she was dancing. However, I didn't like the food. I'm giving Chancey's wedding a 7. I loved her ceremony space and the candy bar. However, I didn't really like her decor and the reception. I do think Chancey's competition, but I think I have her beat. Coming up, a star-studded photo booth. Snooki, I don't know. Snooki, <laughs> but not. That was one of my highlights of the night. It's a marriage matchup as these four brides rate each other's special days. Oh, my God. The winner will enjoy a sublime honeymoon in a stunning region renowned for winemaking. It's been really hard to clean everything, so it's been, like, a lot of hard work and a lot of stress to see everything is, like, worth it, so worth it. Chantal is making her dreams of a rustic vintage wedding come true at a historic plantation. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at the chandeliers and the trees. Chantal has a theme similar to mine. It's vintage. I think that mine is going to be more intimate. I think she's having a larger wedding, but I think it's going to be a pretty wedding. And look at the flowers here. That's very pretty. Yeah, nice already. It's not really well lit. I think it's very romantic. The ceremony was decorated with a lot of candles and flowers, like rose petals all over. It was really, really pretty. I love the candles. It looks beautiful. She had the burlap runner, which was kind of vintage, and it was also natural and earthy, which was really cool. Is that a 7 or 7.30? 7, right? I think 7. You say 7? Mm -hmm. 7. Just a little late. I felt really anxious and kind of just kind of bored and didn't know what was going on. I'm getting a little bit antsy. Yeah. Me too. All right, it's about to start, y'all. I have a feeling. This is it. <laughs> we have to wait like 45 minutes. We were just wondering what was going on. There it goes. 
scripture. Jerry, will you take Chantal to be your lawful wedded wife as long as you both shall live? Definitely. Chantal, will you take Jerry to be your husband and will you commit yourself to his happiness and be loyal to him as long as you both shall live? Thank you. This ring I pledge my life and my love forever. Chantal. With this ring I pledge my life and my love forever and ever. I declare that Chantal and Jerry are now husband and wife. to the barn for the reception and the barn was decorated with lots of candles and flowers. It was very pretty. I love the vintage feel. Yeah. Chantal's theme was vintage. I thought she pulled it off very well with bird cages and books and a lot of lace. Look at the cake. It's cool. The cake's beautiful. Gorgeous. Shimmery. Kind of like lace. I like the socks. Look at the tablecloth. It's lace. with artificial florals, but I thought the floral arrangements were beautiful. They were very well done, and they did have a vintage touch. I thought they were perfect for her. Oh, our first dance. Her dress is so beautiful. Chantal's dress was very simple. It was pretty and elegant, and it was lace, and it matched her theme. She looked absolutely gorgeous. She looked lovely in her dress, a bit of a mermaid style, and it did have some embellishment around the waist, which was really pretty. Her dress was cute and she looked like a vintage princess. Chantal is offering a buffet of traditional New Orleans dishes. I'm really hungry. I definitely want to try the seafood gumbo. I know, that's going to be good. It's a different sausage. Coffee sausage. Alligator. Land, but it was a good variety. It's really good. It's very tasty. I think the pasta is my favorite. I loved the pasta with the crawfish. I thought it was delicious. It was really good Cajun food. <laughs> it feels kind of overwhelming to be one of 250 guests, kind of chaotic and loud. <laughs> I get kind of lost because it was too crowded for my taste. Chantal had a photo booth, and I thought it was very fun. Everybody got in there and had a fun time. Oh, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I can't see that good. We had a blast in the photo booth, and I got to dress up and take pictures and make memories. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Grandma, she was having a blast. She was dancing. She was just getting down. So we love Grandma. It was really, really fun. We really had a good time. From what everything I planned for the past two years, today was everything I dreamed it would be and more. It was everything I dreamed she dreamed it would be. <laughs> uh, it's what it's supposed to be. Happy life, happy life is what I was told, so I'm over with that. <laughs> Will Chantal's southern charm carry her to victory? 
The judge's points for her food, venue, and dress are kept secret for the moment. Right now, they're only revealing their scores for overall experience. I give it Chantal's wedding an 8 out of 10. I definitely like that the atmosphere was fun and young and just kind of have a good time. I took points away because I thought there was a small space for the number of guests. I'm giving Chantal a 7. I did like the venue and I enjoyed the dancing, but I did not like waiting for the ceremony. I am giving Chantal's wedding an 8. I loved the dogs. I thought it was so much fun. However, it didn't run on schedule. Chantal has wonderful taste, but I think that I definitely can give her some competition. Coming up, welcome to the dollhouse. Great. They just were like very set up and like really detailed. Each of these Southern Bells wants to win the grand prize, a splendid honeymoon. But first, they must attend each other's weddings and vote on which one is best. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm so excited. I think New Orleans is the perfect place for a destination wedding. This venue is unique, but I think that the guests are really going to love it. Next to wed is Amanda. Most of her 35 guests have traveled from Alabama to witness her vows at a mansion with an amazing doll collection. A lot of the columns have like a New Orleans yeah. style. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. New Orleans. I'm expecting the wedding to be very elegant and pretty. I know that she works with flowers. I'm excited to see how pretty the flowers are going to be. I do feel like she's competition, of course. We both want the same deal with the vintage, but I do think mine will be better, I hope. Wow. Very pretty. Everything looks very vintage. It does. It looks like our theme perfectly. Yeah. I thought the house itself was really gorgeous. I like the flowers color there. They're so pretty. It was beautiful. I love the way it was decorated. It says Amanda everywhere. It's very romantic. It is. Yeah. yeah. flowers at all but i really like them amanda looks really happy she looks so in love like she couldn't take her eyes away from her fiance may you have happiness and may you find it making one another happy hi justin hi justin thank you amanda special gift from god all day from my life justin was so cute you could tell he was just so in love with her Thank you, Justin, to be my lawful husband all the days of my life. She's going to stand together. And it is my privilege to pronounce Justin and Amanda, husband and wife. We exited the ceremony, went into the main parlor. It's a big room with high, high ceilings. Yes, and everyone's attention to the center of the dance floor. Oh, how sweet. She's crying. Did they look well. like they're so in love? He was hugging her and looking at her like they were meant to be together. God, I love her dress so much. Yes. The sparkles on it. Yeah, it really, really And the layers the are so layers. flattering. Hannah's dress was very pretty. It had a lot of layers and a lot of beading. It was very pretty. It matched the wedding theme. Under the chandeliers, it really caught the light and she was sparkled. It was really pretty. It definitely fits our vintage. It does. Dinner is a buffet of comfort foods and classic New Orleans dishes. Is that jambalaya? Yes. There was not a lot of variety of food, so I kind of felt like that we didn't have a lot to choose from. So I guess this is the only seating. There wasn't really any seating. There was really only chairs randomly placed. Cheese and pasta is my favorite, so like, oh my god, it's like heaven. The so jambalaya is a little bland. Yeah, it's not really good. It wasn't like the best jambalaya that you can get in New Orleans. Cream cake. Yeah, I smelled cinnamon. It's the groom's cake. Yeah. And I love a wedding cake. I like the flowers and the details of the cake. It was a very pretty cake that has like a fleur de lis touch in the middle, which makes like the New Orleans. for tours of the dollhouse collection. Wow, this is the large dollhouse. They just were like very set up and like really detailed. This is the dollhouse of all seasons with an Easter egg tree. Wow. 
makes so much detail. Yeah, that comes as this Russian ballerina that's sitting here in her boudoir, and she's having a ball going on on the first floor. After the ball, she's going to have midnight supper up in the dining room. Great. I think it was nice, but I will do it like for my daughter's birthday party or something like that, but not for a wedding. The family brought in props to dance, and I guess to bring that New Orleans flair, which got everyone involved, and it made it fun and silly. Everybody started dancing. It was really fun. Well, the wedding was wonderful. All of our guests, they just had a wonderful time, and it was a really fabulous experience. I had a great time. The wedding was awesome. She just looked beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it was amazing. Will Amanda's destination wedding win her an even more exotic honeymoon? The judge's points for her food, venue, and dress are kept secret for the moment. Right now, they're only revealing their scores for overall experience. I'm giving Amanda a six. I really loved her flowers. She really converted me over silk flowers. And I also loved her food overall, but there was not enough seating. I'm giving Amanda's wedding a six out of ten. She pulled off her theme very well from her dress all the way down to the venue. However, I felt like the food was a little bland and there wasn't much variety. I'm giving Amanda's wedding five out of ten. I like the cake and the vintage thing was everywhere. However, the doll museum, I think it took a lot from the wedding. My wedding is going to be a little bit more fun. I'm sorry, Amanda, but I like you. Coming up, New Orleanian marching and Peruvian shaking. The key to Peruvian dances is you definitely have to know how to move your hips. <laughs> This is the first time in my life I feel this way, like, I want to scream, I want to cry, I'm happy. I just want that everybody show up. <laughs> Marcella is summoning all her emotions and Peruvian touches to a plantation-style banquet hall. I like all the trees, it's pretty outside. Pretty. Very. Marcella has a little spitfire personality, so I expect her wedding to be, like, really fun and lots of dancing. Oh, I love, love, love the mason jars. Oh, these are so cute. Marcella had an outdoor ceremony, and it was decorated with beautiful spring flowers. thought it was a nice romantic setting. I love my seat in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't like that it was cold. It was outside. This is girl. Precious. <laughs> How cute. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Marcella was a beautiful bride. Her dress was gorgeous. It was sweet and romantic. Marcella's dress had definitely a lot of great detail on the bottom. I thought that was very pretty. I really liked her dress. It looked very South American to me, like it had those influences, so I really thought it was pretty. His face makes me want to cry. Mm -hmm. He's like so paranoid. We meet together in the presence of their dearest family and friends to join this man and this woman in the holy bonds of matrimony. Joseph, take Marcella's left hand in yours and repeat after me. I, Joseph, take you, Marcella, as my wife. I, Joseph, take you, Marcella, as my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In both sickness and in health. Both in sickness and in health. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I, Marcella, take you, Joseph, as my husband. Yo, Marcella, te tomo a ti, Joseph, como mi esposo. I promise to be faithful to you. Te prometo ser de fiel. I was really impressed by that. She really included her family and her culture, which I think is really important. For all the days of my life. For el resto de mis días. Marcel and Joseph have not just joined themselves to each other today. They also have a beautiful and spirited little girl that they would like to include in this commitment being made. She is so sweet. She is so cute. Isabella, we promise to help guide you through life. Isabella, we promise to help you guide you through life. I thought their ceremony was very special. I even teared up when they included their daughter. I thought that was very sweet. I, Isabella, oh my goodness. promise to honor my family. Mm. <laughs> so cute. She actually had her daughter say vows, which is something that I had never seen before, but I thought it was really special. And we'll always try, always try. to make you both proud. To make you both proud. Oh <laughs> and now, by the power invested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join our bride and groom for a second line. Guests embrace the spirit of Mardi Gras on the way to the reception. It was just really cool because she had an actual band and we had masks and beads. It was true. Second line, it was so fun. Marcella's father brought Pisco grape brandy from Peru, which is mixed with lime juice, egg white, and simple syrup. It's good. That is really uh -oh. good. I'm totally going to find Pisco to make my own Pisco sours because that was amazing. Or find Marcella's dad and have him mail me some. <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty. I think they're, they're real flowers. I saw the centerpieces and I immediately saw silk flowers. What's well, not my favorite? I like the centerpieces. They were gorgeous spring silk artificial flowers and they were different on each table. I thought that they were really pretty. I have the penne. Shrimp. Shrimp, yes. Marcella had a buffet, so we kind of helped ourselves. It felt like there was food tucked in every corner. So we first had the pasta station. Mm, that's good. It was really good. How's yours? Very good. Good food. The food was very tasty. But I was just a tad disappointed because I thought that she was going to have more Peruvian food. Sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I love any kind of potato. <laughs> the potatoes are very good. Let's try that. Oh, my God. Favorite thing at the whole wedding. It was very good. I ate until I could not eat anymore. Those were my favorite. They were so good. changed into some costumes and danced to a Peruvian song. That was very fun. He's a good sport. My husband was like, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was very different, and it was cool that was her sisters doing it, and not just some higher dancer. key to Peruvian dances is you definitely have to, to know how to move your hips. <laughs> That's important, so I need to go home and practice that. That was cute. Ooh, look how pretty. I love all the sunflowers. Yeah, it's like topsy-turvy. Yeah. I know, I love that. Marcella had a topsy-turvy cake, so it was different layers going different ways. That looks like their family. It's yeah. so cute. It even looks like her little headpiece. Yeah. Even their outfits looked just like them. It was really cute. I had a great time dancing. Priscilla has very loving family and friends, and they all like to party, and I feel like they had a great time. so happy to celebrate with Marcella. She just got such a good heart and radiates love and happiness. We pulled out all the stops. We got the Peruvian dance, the yeah, Peruvian Pisco. We, we put two cultures together and we made it happen. I felt like Cinderella for real. Like this fun Cinderella. I'll give this red a 12. <laughs> The groom's off the charts, but it's up to the brides to decide. Their ratings for Marcella's dress, venue, and food will be revealed shortly. Now, they're only sharing their scores for overall experience. I'm giving Marcella's wedding a 7. I loved her ceremony and how personal it was. I really loved her Peruvian influences. However, I didn't like her silk flowers. I'm giving Marcella's wedding an 8. I enjoyed the dancing, and I definitely liked the food. However, I didn't like that it was cold outside. I'm giving Marcella's wedding a 7. I loved the Peruvian culture. I thought it was so sweet that she included her daughter. However, I would have liked more Peruvian food. I think Marcella's wedding could be a little bit of competition, but I'm still confident that my wedding is the wedding to beat. Coming up. I'm anxious to see where the honeymoon is. The mystery destination is revealed. Whose husband is holding the envelope? Oh my god! Each of these blissful brides is confident that her big day was best, but only one will savor stunning views on a luxurious dream honeymoon. I 
put an extreme amount of heart into my wedding. It took me two years to plan, and every single detail from the centerpieces to every little branch in the tree is all me. Winning the honeymoon would mean so much to me. I think that my guests took away a very romantic portrait of New Orleans. The four brides have attended each other's weddings and awarded a number out of 10 for overall experience. To prevent one bride from low scoring another simply to improve her own chances, the brides give the remaining categories, venue, dress, and food for each wedding, a first, second, and third place ranking. The rankings are converted into points and added to existing scores. I like Devana's dress the best. It just fit her style and matched her vintage theme. I like Chantal's venue the best because I love the barn and all the exposed beams. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I liked Marcella's food the best because I loved her potato bar. I like Chelsea's dress less because it didn't wow me. Each bride now has a total score out of 120. The competitors meet one last time to see whose wedding is the winner. Woo! <laughs> to four new brides and four new great friends. Cheers. Cheers. I am very nervous for real. I feel like butterflies in my stomach. If I win, I think I'm definitely going to cry. I mean, your dress was amazing. amazing. So yeah, amazing. and so different. Yeah, yeah. so different. I've never seen anything like that. And I loved your headpiece. It was yeah. so cute. I do think my husband is going to be the one that steps out of the limo. It was a great New Orleans wedding. It was romantic and fun and very intimate. The fireworks were spectacular. Yeah, oh thank God. you. I didn't expect it. It was so really, unexpected. Thank you. I think my wedding was a winning wedding because we had the same stations there, great food, everything that made it a magic touch. Well, I definitely pulled out all the stops to have the best wedding. And the dogs. Yeah, the dogs definitely yeah. stole the show, but... I loved all the vintage touches. Oh, thank you. I want this honeymoon so bad, and I really, really want to win for my husband, so I really, really want it. All right, girls, good luck. So which bride will be embarking on the honeymoon of a lifetime? <laughs> the groom is just moments away from surprising his jittery bride. Make sure to see where the honeymoon is. Yeah. <laughs> He'll hand over the envelope containing the secret honeymoon details. I'm not a fool, it's not gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god! So nervous. I know me too. My stomach hurts. Here we go. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Thank you. So it's vintage chic Chantal who wins the grand prize. The judges loved her elegant venue and hopping dance floor. She takes home the prize with 90 points out of a possible 120. In the runner-up spot is Marcella. Her fellow brides gave her delicious buffet perfect marks. She's the pride of Peru with 87 points. Amanda's intimate and elegant I do's take third position. Her romantic dress won the category. She's a doll with 73 points. And in fourth place is Chansey. Her sensational wedding was full of good cheer. Ra Ra Romance tallies 60 points. Where are you going? Let's see. Congratulations, raise your glass and toast your victory. You've won a wine and spa honeymoon to historic Portugal. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you, girls, so much. I was just kind of disappointed. Uh, I feel like I did all I could, but there's nothing that I could have done to make my wedding more perfect, but it was perfect for me. Oh, I wish I could have with you. You know what? I wouldn't change a thing about my wedding. I had so much fun, and it was just the most amazing day. <laughs> Thank you. Too good, <laughs> I'll be happy for Chantel. Her wedding was really, really fun. I really have a good time. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Let's go. I've never been outside the country, really, outside the crew.